Hi, I'm John. Thank you for joining me for another tutorial on Archimatics, a node-based parametric modeling system for Unity. Today we are going to take a closer look at the node editor or graph editor. We will create some shapes, merge them together and make an interior scene for a game. Let's go on into Unity now and I have an empty scene open. I have already imported Archimatics and I have docked the library to the bottom left and the graph editor in the top right. The way you get to the graph editor and library is through window, archimatics, and they are listed over here. I prefer to have my scene window on one side and the node editor on the other side because we will be using them quite a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. The graph editor consists of various elements. On the left side you will see the nodes which represent your shapes in the top left corner and you can scroll through them with your mouse wheel. On the bottom you will see the 3D nodes and these correspond exactly to the library nodes that you see down below. The right column contains function nodes which you will use to combine shapes to create 3D objects. Let's click on the circle to create a shape node. This circle has two handles, one for the radius and one for the number of segments. You can change these interactively. You can change them in the shape or you can change them in the inspector. I'm happy with my circle now, but I want to extrude it to make a cylinder. The way you do that is the output shape of this node has a little purple button. You click on that once with your mouse and release, and it will create a line I'm not holding the left mouse button. I have released the left mouse button and now I'm going to the right column and I'm scrolling down with the middle mouse wheel to find the extrude plan node and I will click on that. Now I have created a cylinder. Let's do that one more time. I will delete the extrude node. I will click once on the output shape, release go over to the node function that you want in my case the extrude plan and click on that and release it's as simple as that we have connected the output shape of the shape into the in input of the extrude node now you can change the height if you like on the extrude node and you can make your cylinder tall or short and you can still change the radius of your circle as well as the number of segments to your liking. I will keep it to 16 segments. Now I would like to combine the shape with another shape to start building out my room. Let's click on the rectangle and to combine this I will do a special shortcut clicking on the output shape again and releasing just like we did before. Now I will double right click on the plan input of the extrude. When I did this it created a shape merger node. Let's do that one more time just for practice. So I will delete the shape merger node. First I will put one of my shapes as the input for the extrude so maybe the rectangle first this time click and click I have created my shape and then I want to add this but to add the circle I click and double right click and that will create the shape merger node now it looks like it hasn't really done anything why is that? Well, when we move the circle to intersect the wall, you can see it's actually subtracting. We don't want that. We want to add the shape. So, let's take a close look at our shape merger node. 
it has two inputs the rectangle it's filled and the circle it has an empty shape if I click the empty shape next to the circle it will fill it in now it means the shapes are added if I wanted to subtract the rectangle from the circle I click the full shape and you can see now it's being subtracted I want to add both of these shapes together so I will make sure that the shapes are filled okay now I have an object which is filled but I'm interested in creating an interior environment so what I'm gonna do is go to the extrude node in the end open up my controls and select back faces you can see now it flipped the view of the faces and I can see inside the shape so it looks like a room however the front walls are obscuring my view so what I will do is uncheck sides and now no matter which angle you look at the walls that would obscure the view into the room are transparent this is a good way to create an interior environment so we have a combination of two shapes, a circle and a rectangle. Let's create another circle and also add that to our shape. Now the trouble is this circle is backwards. I mean it's been subtracted as opposed to added. So I will click the empty shape next to it to make it a full shape signifying that it's being added now okay we are starting to build an interesting shape but what I want to do is perhaps link the radii of these two circles so one is always twice the amount of the other so we have two circles here and if we zoom in on them and expand the geometry you will see they both have a radius I will connect one radius to the other. Okay, now if I move the radii, they will match. But I wanted one of them to be twice as large as the other. So there is a connection between them, and I will click on that orange connection. Below you will see you have expression editors. Both of our circles are simply called circle, so it would be good to rename one for uh, to avoid confusion. But in our case, I'm just going to change the expression. For the first circle, I will multiply the radius times 2. And for the second one, I will divide it by 2. Save the expression. Looks like nothing has changed yet. You can click the Rebuild button in the top right corner of the Node Editor. And you will see the radius now has doubled for one circle. If I change the radius, of one it affects the other. Our shapes have now expression linking their radii together and they're fed into the shape merger which combines them together. If you like we could add an additional shape and this one I will keep subtracted so it will create sort of like a pillar in the middle of our room and using this method of adding and subtracting shapes to the shape merger you can build out your interior scene the final extrude node has slots for materials there is a material top cap and bottom cap the material on top is the base and the top cap and bottom cap will override for the floor and ceiling if you assign something to it click the button next to the material node it will create a material tool where you can assign a material I will assign the block wall so we have learned how to combine shapes we have learned how to link two parameters using an expression 
and we have created a little interior environment which could be the first room for a level for your game. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will come back for more videos on Archimatics and other topics. Thank you.